Hey, hi. My name is Pranav. I work at Clappy as SD1. My day-to-day -day responsibilities revolve around, you know, seamless feature delivery, understand the problem statement and ship the code as per the problem statement, make sure our system is operating at an optimal pace, make sure that there is no errors and uh, make sure it is up running for all the users anytime for all their use cases. Now uh, let's discuss about you know my uh, key contributions that I have uh, done so far. Uh, it mostly revolves around compression. It can be a file, it can be a image, it can be a video comp video file, anything you know. So uh, let's before before understand uh, understand this. Uh, let's try to understand our users' use cases where they are actually using uh, video compression. So uh, most of our users have these applications where there is some kind of quality inspection checks and there is a uh, you know uh, uh, 360 uh, video surveillance required of the field field auditing so what people do is they just go there click photos they record the video of the surrounding they record the video of the product and they upload it right now what the problem lies here whenever you click mul and, and these guys they they click multiple photos up to 40, 100, you know, and they, and what, what admins have done is, they have configured PDF. So whoever submits the data, these images are embedded in the PDFs, right? Due to this, what happens is, the PDF size increases. And so, also the video sizes. Video size can go up to 100 or it can cross that, right? So we need to implement something that can reduce its file size and make the transmission really seamless you know, over the internet for people, be it for sending email or, you know, sending anywhere or, sto or storing it at the back for us, right? So what we have done is we have implemented this compression for files. Uh, we have altered the parameters and we have, uh, uh, you know, d d we have done our research properly to make it well within the uh, acceptable range. Now, while sending these PDFs and uh, videos, the problem is that whenever you are sending this to an, uh, any, any other person, so while sending an SMTP servers come into the picture and it has a restriction of 10 MBs, say 25 MBs. So any file exceeding that size won't be sent, right? So we need to bring this down to this acceptable range and make sure that the delivery is smooth, right? Uh, the next problem is that when these inspections happen, uh, a network is a big problem. Uh, you know, demography is very distributed and the network, so is the network, right? So yeah, it's very erratic to know what kind of network that particular person at X point have, right? So we need to support an offline feature also so that it can be shipped seamlessly, right? But before we send this offline, we need to compress everything. We, com we need to compress the images and embed it in PDF we need to compress videos and then send it in chunks. So this happens a lot in background that we take care of. And yeah, this is what our video compression does. Uh, we have data to back this. So let's say we have 44 MB file. We, we are compressing it to 4 MB, 5 MB uh, approximately. Now this compression is the quality loss is not that noticeable. So that user, user it's not that uh, low but it's uh, you know it's the size is drastically reduced and we then store this uh, in our backend uh, storage file storage everywhere and uh, yeah we are able to now tran uh, seamlessly transfer these files efficiently uh, because as the file size is low through our internet yeah so yeah so that's what we do at clapia we we make sure that the problem you're focusing on has been uh, you know uh, is been at the back taken care of like uh, this compression part uploading it you know um, uh, you don't need to know the nitty gritties of how this is happening you just need to focus on your problem statement we handle the entire thing for you and making your experience more seamless thank you